Hi, I'm Allison, and this week I'm doing vlog 12. Um, we were tasked to read a series of articles from Rhetoric and Popular Acts, and we were also supposed to read chapter 10, um, Opportunities and Challenges Arising from the Rhetor. Um, and so from chapter from chapter 10, we were able to kind of see the opportunities and challenges that rise from rudders. And the first one would be prior ethos um, that goes to show reputation. Um, it also goes to show appearance, so research on how certain things, certain impressions or physical appearance um, affects and challenges rudders. Um, also your introduction and the context and the occasion and so all these things come together and they either can per per become opportunities or challenges um, for writers and then going on to the essays that we were tasked to um, re read and write about the first one was armstrong's essay and he talks about how people have trouble finding their true identities and that um, she uses evidence from high school and just how high school is so bizarre that that um, it's hard for people to find their identities, especially when they're in school. Um, so with that being said, it's very difficult just for people to find their identities and it's pretty normal that people can't find their identities or have trouble finding their identities. And for Sapita's essay, he dives into talking about talking about how African Americans are always using the n-word in their songs and how that word has just become so appropriated in pop culture in artists and songs and with that he says that a lot of people have profited off of using the n-word and that his it has benefited people's successes but because that word is so popularized now people kind of forget how People kind of forget how that word has a very deep meaning behind it and just how it's not just any word that people can just simply throw out there anymore. But because media and society is so, so, um, so used to saying that word that it's just become so popular. For Shu, she discusses how the United States is changing and just how um, we aren't as traditional in racial senses as we were back in the past and she ties in with the new generation that there's a lot of interracial marriages a lot of um diversity that's being encouraged and being accepted and so she kind of just goes to show that time has improved society and that the world is not as racist as it once was and with time there can be change it just takes a while um, for Gladwell, he talks about, um, he takes on the athletic system and how athletes are often one race, which is African American, and how he feels that it shouldn't be that way and there should be more diversity in the field of athletics just because there's no reason why one race is superior in ath athletic, in the athletic field than others. So, that there should just be more diversity. For Boyd, they talk about um, today's technology advancements and how these advancements have improved society. However, it has made people lose themselves in it because society relies so deeply on technology and on media nowadays that people tend to get lost in it and they tend to lose their identity. They tend to take on different identities that could or could not be what they wanted. But because technology is just all around, um, people just just are more inclined to lose themselves and lose who they are. And that concludes my vlog.